Bauer is hating ass teammate Tamari is sitting there talking about those weights are weak as hell and they're not bro. about to make a difference. Oh, but Shorty bro. ate her words Where because once it? those weights hit the floor, it had everyone shot. <laughs> but look at that, bro. He really Damn. hit him with the light work, no reaction. Till bro move. Now look at him. He like, hey yo, why he disappeared? <laughs> Lee starts hitting around, bro, just toying with him. And look at Gar. The thought of him having to actually box is killing him right now. He knows he's about to get exposed for having no oh, hands. Yeah. What's going on, Clitz? What? what up, what up, what up? What up? What up? We're in the clutch. Hey, hey, back to ladies and gentlemen, another video today, you feel me? How Rock Lee put that, put the dog in that the dog, dog baby. against uh, Gar. This is one of my favorite Cold fights fight, in anime of all time, bro. Yeah, hey, yeah. Rock Lee. He was say, don't sleep. That he was that nigga. <laughs> I ain't know how cold he was. And once he took off the weights, I was like, oh. I thought they was going to be like, just thrown on the ground, bro. And it shook the building. I was like, oh. Everybody was like. <laughs> <laughs> bro, he was, he, 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 he that nigga, bro. We got to check this out, man. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. Make sure y'all want to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let us know what else we need to check he, out. He, he, yeah. It's about Let's time go. we talk about that. He was him. Rock Lee. And yeah. what better fight to do it than this one? We need to check out the one with God, too. Yeah. So after the worst track run of fights of all time happened, I'm talking Sakura versus Eno, Naruto yeah. versus mm -hmm. Kiba, and Neji versus Hinata. Yeah. Ishimoto said, hold up, enough of these night cool fights. I gotta hit him with that heat. And he got so, so boom. That random ass HD flat screen TV they had started selecting <laughs> fighters. And the first fighter it selected was Gara. And you know what he does? He hits this little teleportation thing to go to the middle of the arena. You know he couldn't uh -huh. wait to do that shit. And you I couldn't. can't blame him. After watching those three weak ass fights, I gotta keep my mind occupied somehow. Mm -hmm. I'd be in my Vegeta time in two, taking my time figuring out how to pull up. The TV started selecting the next fighter, and 99% of the remaining fighters were not trying to see him. They the weren't trying to see him. No, they were out there sweating. But notice how I said 99 because one was straight up ready, and his yep. name is Rock Lee. Mm -hmm. He selected, and look at what he's doing. He's up there shadow boxing, no fear in his heart. He said, I'm built for this. He jumps down to the middle and hits that iconic pose. And let mm -hmm. me warn you, if you ever get into an altercation and they start hitting the Rock Lee pose, yeah. run, they probably be in the gym five hours a day minimum. For your own safety, this walk is, away. But before the fight even starts, I need to talk about Gara's teammates, Tamari and Kankaroo, or however you say it. Because they are really some elite level haters. haters the facts. fight ain't even start yet. And Kankaroo in the back talking about Sell your friend with the shitty haircut. He'll never be Gara. <laughs> Not in this <laughs> lifetime. The I know voice. Naruto in his head is just like, Oh my God, bro. Is dick <laughs> riding all you do? <laughs> because this shit is outrageous. And don't get me started on Tamari. Because Kishimoto takes us through her thoughts. And she was really talking about his kicks are weak as hell. Like, yeah. bro, what was wrong with what his kicks? And the crazy part is, if he's seen either of them in the ones, he would have packed them up and went on yeah. to the next round. Yeah. But let's get into yeah, it. Yeah, the Proctor's in the middle like, ready? Box. And Rock Lee starts rushing him, <laughs> holding that W key. But I know you see Gar with his arms folded. And we know good and well, if someone is standing still and not moving, 99% of the time, your attack is not going to work. Yeah. And that's exactly what happened. He tried hitting him with the Leaf Hurricane and that shit did not work. He gets blocked and Gara tries to attack him. But Lee is quick on his feet, so he moves out the way. And I know you see him doing those backflips. He's not taking that screen time for granted. He no. are doing the most trying to get more minutes, but he had no time. idea what Kishimoto had in store for him. So after getting blocked, Lee is just like, damn, he blocking my shit with this hand. Whoa, really? I'm thinking bro about to pull up with a whole new game plan after stating that obvious ass shit, but he doesn't. He just runs back at him with no new strategy, no changes, and gets his shit blocked. And it's crazy how we found out later that the sand does this shit because of his mother continuing to protect bro long after she's gone. She's really looking up with a controller perfect carrying every attack. This man Rocky was doomed from the start. The odds were always stacked attack. against him. This damn near a 2v1. This is unfair. Yeah, yeah. So after a couple more attempts, shit was clearly not going anywhere. Bro even tried taking out his kunai like an apex heirloom. And he started swigging at the sand. He was out there doing anything, bro. On my first watch, this had me thinking like, damn, maybe Gara's hating ass teammates were right. Maybe yeah. he wasn't all that. But then again, he's a dude with no ninjutsu going against the number That's one true. prospect. Mm -hmm. Like his life is already hard enough. They hoeing him. And I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you can't tell me the tuning exams were not rigged. 
Let's look at the yeah. top three prospects. Gara, yeah. Neji, Neji, and Sasuke. Mm-hmm. They got Sasuke going against a sound village the NPC. Mm-hmm. Neji going against Hinata. And no disrespect to Rock Lee, but on paper, Gara going against Lee is ludicrous. Homie shouldn't yeah. have stood a chance. I know you saw that attendance. Their whole goal was to sell out the arena. Yep. This shit is fixed. <laughs> that CB over there? Yeah, that shit is not random. <laughs> Anyways, Gara trips Rock Lee and tries to crush him. But Lee gets out and kneels on the statue like he's some superhero. And this is where Mike Guy comes in talking about, all right, bro, you could take those heavy ass weights off. This Not gonna lie cold, though, bro. I know he's your sensei and all, but those shits would have been off. Do you see who they got me fighting? <laughs> this demon ass <laughs> team no one played catch with. I'm off. not taking my chances. So Gara's hating ass teammate Tamari is sitting there talking about those weights are weak as hell and they're not bro. about to make a difference. Oh, but Shorty bro. ate her words Where because once it? those weights hit the floor, it had everyone shot. <laughs> look at her. He really Dead. hit him with the Light work, no reaction. Till bro move. Now look at him. He like, hey yo, Whoa. why he disappeared? <laughs> Lee starts hitting around, bro, just toying with him. And look at Gara. The thought of him having to actually box is killing him right now. He knows he's about to get exposed for having no oh, hands. Yeah. The same is barely keeping up, and that's how yeah. you know his mom is down in hell sweating right now, trying to keep up with every hit. Got her working <laughs> overtime. He Lee starts circling Gara, and it's like, oh yeah, it's time I finally get my lick back. <laughs> starts hitting the Sonic and puts the back of his <laughs> back. He hit in the back. And look at my guy back there. He hyped his shit. And I would be too, cause Lee out there cooking up in his outfit. Lee said, uh, I'm not finished. finished. Hits Gara's stupid ass with a crossover and is like, hey, are your dumb ass looking? Gara gets soft yeah. clean in the face. That shit had Gara flying. He is the ground. And I'm not gonna lie, that shit had me smiling. I want to see Lee win. But what I didn't know at the time is Gara had that Batman level prep time. Because he had a backup plan the whole time if his auto defense failed him. And it was to coat himself in sand armor. And I couldn't even be mad. That was a good play. Good IQ. Mm-hmm. You still a bitch though, but hey, good IQ. <laughs> The camera cuts to Gara and we see why no one wanted to play tag with this evil ass. Look at him, he out there tweaking. Tag. And the reason this scene be living rent free in my head is because the way this man Gara was breathing. I don't know if y'all remember, but I'ma play the clip right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, nah, do you hear this man? Oh. Like, I'm out of there as soon as he starts doing that. You're crazy. But Lee had a plan. He was ready to end this shit in one move. Hey, real quick. Thank you for 252k. He hey, took the toilet awesome, paper man. off his arm and started circling me like how Pegasus is doing in Beyblade. And this man Gar really had the audacity to talk about, bro, what are you waiting for? With his arms folded sitting in the middle. Like, bro, all you do is sit there and stand because you got auto defense. You're boring as hell. <laughs> this is why I say Gar's player comparison is Tim Duncan because even though they're elite as hell, they got yep. the most boring <laughs> play styles of all time. Yeah, if you ever have trouble sleeping, put on some Tim Duncan highlights. I promise you it looks like a charm. <laughs> Lee goes in, hits him with an up tilt, which kicks Ooh. him up in the air. Gar starts getting juggled up in the air like yep, Isaac yep. Newton didn't invent gravity yep. and put him up to a place where like Isaac Newton ball. didn't invent gravity. He wraps the toilet paper around Gara and and tilts yep. him down head first. Then he starts spinning this and sending him cold. to the ground. Oh. First time watching it, I thought it was over. He caught yep. him. Look at Gara. He looks like a broken <laughs> base right now. People in the stands were celebrating too. They thought evil has lost, but we all know what happened. Somehow mm-hmm. Rodi is Houdini, and the thing that we see on the ground is an empty shell, which means Rock Lee didn't do shit, and the match is not over. I know Mike guy mad as hell right now. Lee executed the move just like he taught he him, did. and that shit still ain't get him. Gara spawns right behind him and starts laughing maniacally. He sees bro with zero stamina and Brody started hey, licking yo. his lips. He sends hey, sand at bro and that shit pushes him back. Then he starts laughing again and launches a whole sand tsunami at bro. Yeah, this shit was getting hard to watch and yeah. then it happened. They started showing us flashbacks of Rock Lee yeah, and it can only mean one thing. He's about to go crazy. crazy. But before up. I skip the flashback cutscenes, I need to talk about the one with Neji because this was kind of crazy. This man Neji put the heel on his shoulder and started going to work. Look at this, he hits him twice in the gut, headshots him, gut checks him again, and he ends it off with three more headshots like he did not have to do really that early. So after the flashbacks, they take us right back to the fight. Gara attacks Lee and bro moved out the way fast as hell. And you know bro is confident cause he has his back turned to him right now. Gara said man that shit's a fluke, tries to attack him four more times, but he too is Weave Nation certified. After all those misses, Rock Lee starts to charge up. And Gara's like, I don't know what you think you're planning, but you're not a Super Saiyan gang. It's over. And Lee hits him with the, you are right. 
it is over. over. Bro starts bro, bro. charging up. Yep. He opens up the third Sneaky gate, way. and Crazy. that shit got him looking crazy. This is <laughs> yeah. not someone you want to fuck with. And Gar soon like, found that oh, out. Shit. He opens up the fourth gate and charges right at him. He launches Gar straight up. And Gar is just chilling peacefully in the air. Rocky hits him with a jump scare and starts juggling Gar around the arena. Neji is sitting there terrified as hell because he was out there greasing Lee back then. He didn't know he could do all this. And the crazy part is Lee said he was saving this for Neji. That boy Lee was out here plotting murder. If Neji fought Lee he using the gates, murdered. he would have died. But yeah. hey, at least that he death would be 20 times better than his he original killed one. That boy. Bro established mm -hmm. himself as a pencil holder before he went out. That shit crazy. B goes in front of Gara, says psych, and hits him with the mean duck punch, sending him beaming down. But Lee wasn't finished. He made Gara hit the Gwen and pulls him towards him, hitting him with the punch and a kick simultaneously, completing yeah, bro, the hidden lotus was, and sending him to the ground. He was but this is where true pain happens, because Gara had the gourd which was made out of sand and it cushioned the impact, making him survive that shit. And it was GG. Look at Lee. He's on all fours and is out of energy. Gara's bitch ass uses the last of his sand to crush Lee's arm and leg, trying to end Bro's whole career. Gara already pissed the whole block off with that shit, but homie said, I got one more in me. This time, he tried to put him to sleep for good. I had to look away because I couldn't watch him go. But thankfully, my guy comes in and saves him. Since he stepped in, it gave Gara the automatic win, but we don't care. Because the only thing that matters is that Lee is alive. He starts <laughs> right. to walk off, and bro, this is how you know Rock Lee has that dog in him. Because he gets back up bleeding in his stance, completely unconscious. That man is truly <laughs> different. This nigga Anytime was unconscious, talks bro. about Rock Lee, they gonna start every sentence off with, He was special. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. bro, that nigga oh. was out of it. When I'm talking about he was standing there, bro, <laughs> his eyes were slumped. He was gone. Hey, it bro. was just a sure will in his heart, man. Nah, that, that, that was, was a up. legendary battle. He, bro, once the weights came off, niggas was like, <gasps> yeah. oh, Naughty. shit. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. <He> was <laughs> that nigga said, I was saving this for you, but right. fuck it. And that nigga said, for me. Nigga, Neji looking like, <laughs> oh, no. Nah. Glad we ain't fight. <laughs> Yeah, he would have killed Neji. Oh nah, he would. Yeah, it would have been GGs, bro. Because Neji wouldn't have been able to nah, catch man. him. Nah, it would have been GGs, bro. Yeah, <laughs> but this was a great one, man. Great nah, one. <laughs> this was fire as hell, facts, man. Facts, facts, facts. Shout out to the homie for the videos and, mm -hmm. and his accomplishments as well. The original link to the video is always down below, so you can yeah. always go hit the homie with a subscription and a like as well. Go support him because uh, these videos and the commentary are superb, man, for real, for real. But facts. if y'all enjoyed it, you already know what to do. Make sure you run up the like, subscribe uh, on this channel. It's well mm -hmm. and make sure you keep on spreading love be in love out there enjoy yourself take it easy peace out already if you got a problem then we got the solutions and there's no illusion i made this shit happen i'm living life lucid i'm switching my strategies now they hate on me because i'm causing casualties but why are they after me deep inside they know they can't handle half of me